All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 30. All right. So JavaScript interacts with the HTML using the document object model, or DOM. The DOM is a tree of objects that represents the HTML. We can access the HTML using the document object, which represents our entire HTML document, all right? Uh, one method for finding specific elements in our HTML is using the query selector method, all right? So the query selector method takes a CSS selector as an argument and returns the first element that matches the selector. For example, to find the h1 element in our HTML, we would write let h1 equal document.querySelector h1 in these quotes, all right? So note that h1 is a string and matches the CSS selector we would use, all right? So since we're looking for h1, we would put h1 in a string like this, or like this, I should say, all right? Uh, so now we're going to create a button one variable and use query selector, pardon me, use the query selector method to assign it our element with the ID of button one. We're going to remember that CSS ID selectors are prefixed with a hashtag. All right. So what we're going to do here is we'll say something like this. We'll say let button one equal. And then we'll start with document for the document object and say dot query selector for the query selector method. And then we'll go and say uh, string uh, hashtag button one, right? Because we're looking for the button one, just like this one's looking for the H one, right? Uh, so let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 31 and we'll see you next time.